Hi, Corey Swan, service manager of the Mark Costello Company. Today we're going to show you a standard type sterilizer in a typical medium to large size hospital. We're going to show you how it works, what to do, and what we normally train you on a startup. Demonstrating the Mark Costello voice sterilizer for us today will be Mooney Lugo, service technician, the Mark Costello Company. Mooney's going to start by checking the safety handle to make sure it is in the up position. Now let's take a moment to discuss the safety handle. When it is in the up position, you will be able to operate the hydraulics, but there is a tube at the top which will show steam if there is any residual pressure in the vessel. Once you've raised this handle, you want to make sure that the steam has cleared before you go to open the door. Now he's going to start the hydraulics via the switch on the controller. Then he's going to move to the operator's handle. He's going to pull to open the door. All Mark Costello sterilizers with hydraulic doors are always pull to open, push to close. If this were a standard sterilizer without a hydraulic door, you would have a door ratchet on the spur gear. You will open the door manually by rotating the ratchet and selecting the correct position on the ratchet to rotate the ring. Now making sure that there is no more steam leaking, the door is now safe to open. The door is timed, it is set up at a specific speed so that you have time to release the handle and stop the door from opening any further should you have steam still in the vessel. Once the door is open, you'll want to make sure you have the proper safety gear. You'll have a face shield, you should have a face shield, and glasses, and heavy gloves are recommended before handling these carts. The face shield is to stop any splashing of any material on your face. Although it is sterile, you want to observe the proper safety procedures. Now that the door is open, Mooney's going to push the second handle closest to the end of the vessel, which will raise the cart lift, and then he will retrieve the first cart. Now, Vessels may vary in size. Some will have two carts, some have as many as six. This particular vessel has four carts inside. Mooney's going to pull the cart from the vessel, and the, the cart lift has a stop or a wheel chalk that automatically lifts whenever the cart is raised up in the air. That will stop the cart from rolling off on the operator. Now Mooney will be able to pull the handle on the operator and lower the cart, making sure that nobody is around the sterilizer to get anything underneath. He will now be able to remove the cart from the lift. Now we normally recommend that when you Remove the cart from the lift. You take a minute to look inside the vessel and there is a strainer screen. You want to pull this out and check for any debris. Anything that you find in there, this can be reached from the front of the vessel. You can turn it over, wash it out with some water, and reinstall it. It's something you want to get in the habit of doing. This will help you from plugging up your drain sooner than possible. Now that we've got the vessel completely unloaded, the next thing you'll want to do is stop the hydraulics once the vessel is completely unloaded and you'll want to take your carts and, and remove the waste via whatever method you have chosen on your system. Now once you have reloaded the carts, you're ready to reinstall. It is pretty much a reverse operation. You'll start the hydraulics, you will roll your first cart onto the cart lift. And don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. After you've been operating these a few times, you'll learn and your aim will become quite good and you'll be able to wheel them right up into place. Mooney will now push on the operator handle to raise the cart into place. And remember what I said earlier, we find that the it seems to work a little easier if you raise the cart lift slightly higher than the rails inside so you're pushing the cart in and downward, it'll give it a rolling motion. And now he's pushing the cart in. And you will repeat this, bringing the cart down for the next cart 
as many times as required per the amount of parts that you have. Now Mooney is going to close the door pushing on the hydraulic operator holding the door just to make sure that the door is securely in place when turning the ring and now at this point you may raise your safety face shield if desired once the door is closed the hydraulics has bottomed out and you can throw down your safety handle. You can move over to the controller. You will pull the key from the hydraulics and place it into the upper row of switches for the sterilizer and merely turn the key to start the vessel. Your parameters are already set in for your time and your temperature set point. At this point you may walk away from your vessel and return in the appropriate time to unload.